Hello everyone. Today our topic is conditionals. For example, if I were in your shoes, I would see things differently. This is because I'm not a size 12 and so would have fallen over. So when we learn conditionals, we are to think of structure of conditional sentences. In fact, the structure of most conditionals is very simple. There are two basic possibilities. Of course, we add many words and can use various tenses, but the basic structure is usually like this. If, condition, result. All like this. Result, if, condition. So, let's take first conditional. You are to remember that it is about real possibility. We are talking about the future. We are thinking about the particular condition or situation in the future and the result of this condition. There is a real possibility that this condition will happen. For example, it is morning, you are at home, you plan to play tennis this afternoon, but there are some clouds in the sky. Imagine that it rains. What will you do? Of course, if it rains, I will stay at home. Notice that we are thinking about a future condition. It's not raining yet, but the sky is cloudy and you think that it could rain. We use the present simple tense to talk about the possible future condition. We use will plus base verb to talk about the possible future result. The important thing about the first conditional is that there is a real possibility that the condition will happen. Sometimes we use shall, can or may instead of will. For example, if you are good today, you can watch TV tonight. The next, unreal possibility or dream. For example, if I had won the lottery, I would be rich. We are going to talk about second conditional means unreal possibility or dream. The second conditional is like the first conditional. We are still thinking about the future, we are thinking about a particular condition in the future and the result of this condition. But there is not a real possibility that this condition will happen. For example, you do not have a lottery ticket. Is it possible to win? No. No lottery ticket? No win. But maybe you will buy a lottery ticket in the future, so you can think about winning in the future like a dream. It's not very real but it's still possible. Notice that we are thinking about a future condition. We use the past simple tense to talk about the future condition. We use would plus base verb to talk about the future result. The important thing about the second conditional is that there is an unreal possibility that the condition will happen. If I married Mary, I would be happy, but I didn't. If Ram became rich, she would marry him. But he didn't. If it's not next July, what would you do? Let's continue. Sometimes we use should, could, or might instead of would. For example, if I won a million dollars, I could stop working. Then, let's shift to third conditional. The most important thing here is to remember that there is no possibility. The first conditional and second conditionals talk about the future. With the third conditional, we talk about the past. We talk about a condition in the past that did not happen. That is why there is no possibility for this condition. The third conditional is also like a dream, but with no possibility of the dream coming true. For example, if I had had money, I would have been happy. I would have been happy, sorry. I had no money, I was unhappy in the past, so now... Notice that we are thinking about an impossible past condition. You did not win the lottery. So the condition was not true, and the particular condition can never be true, because it is finished. We use the past perfect tense to talk about the impossible past condition. We use would have plus past possible to talk about the impossible past result. The important thing about the third conditional is that both the condition and the result are impossible now. Sometimes we can use should have, could have, might have instead of would have. For example, if you had bought a lottery ticket, you might have won. Once again, no possibility. Third conditional, no possibility. For example, last week you bought a lottery ticket, but you did not win. And the conditional result is, if I had won the lottery, I would have bought a car. But you didn't. So then, the last one, zero conditional. It's about certainty. We use the so-called zero conditional when the result of the condition is always true, like a scientific fact. For example, take some ice, put it in a pan, heat the pan. What happens? The ice melts. It becomes water. 
you would be surprised if it did not. So then, it's a kind of formula. If you hit ice, it melts. Notice that we are thinking about result that is always true for this condition. The result of the condition is an absolute certainty. We are not thinking about the future or the past, or even the present. We are thinking about a simple fact. We use the present simple tense to talk about the condition. We also use the present simple tense to talk about the result. The important thing about the zero conditional is that the condition always has the same result. For example, when I get up late, I miss my bus. Thank you for your attention. I hope that it was rather understandable. And here you have some tasks. Make up as many sentences as you can using first conditionals. Make up as many sentences as you can using second conditionals. Of course, you are to make up as many sentences as you can using third conditionals and using zero conditionals. Okay, we've done it.